you and I last talked at the end of January. You've done a lot since then. And uh, the September 29th press release is evidence of that. Long holes, good mixes of numbers. Tell us about that. Well, yes, we've been very busy this year. We have a drill program underway. We have 25,000 meters planned and are now well into it with around 21,000 meters. And, and you're funded for it, right? That's a very important point to highlight. We are fully funded and we have a similarly sized program plan for next year and are well funded for that as well. So we won't have to go back to the market um, for um, additional cash anytime soon. We have 10 million in the treasury. Nice, sorry I interrupted you there. You said a 25,000 meter drill program. I got excited about the money. <laughs> yeah, it's a very important point in these markets. So yeah, this year, 25,000 meters of which we have already drilled 21,000 meters around about. We've had the second batch of results um, today. The first one was in July. And so today we released some more holes from the gate zone and near right. the gate zone where we made our first discovery. And we're very pleased again with what we um, were able to drill. Uh, the headline hole intercept was a long hole mineralized over 734 meters and 0.34% copper equivalent. Yeah. So just to put that into perspective, that's just about or a little bit higher than the, the grade that's mined next door at the mine near us. And very importantly, this long hole had also a long high grade section in the middle of 117 meters of more than 1% copper, 1.03% copper equivalent. So we were trace, very pleased with that. Was the drill trace relatively straight or did it bend on you? It bent on us as, as they always do. As they do. But you know that and you plan with that. So numbers are numbers and the geologist will tell me what it means. What I like is in your press release, you told us what it means. Drilling continues to demonstrate a strong correlation between the copper and soil anomalies and the underlying bedrock copper mineralization. I, I like that. Yep, that's right. That's very much what we see where we have copper on the surface. We hit copper in drilling underneath. And that's obviously very, very important for targeting at um, the, at our new targets, at, at further targets um, where uh, we are drilling now, because oh, yeah. until now, most of our drilling was at the gate zone where we made the initial discovery. But MPD, from all we can tell, what our data tells us is a multi-centric porphyry center, just like Copper Mountain next door right. and many other porphyry mines. And it's really all about finding these other porphyry centers. And we have several historically drilled areas where we have already mineralization, shallow mineralization, lower grade mineralization from the historic work. Right. And to find the sources and the high grade zones that go together with these lower grade, um, um, with this lower grade mineralization that we have already, that's really what it's all about. And we have several really, high priority targets. Dillard is where we're drilling now. It's a very right. large target, three times the size of gate. And we then have man, we have targets down in the southern part of the property at Axe, all previously drilled. And we will essentially replicate the approach that successfully led to the gate zone discovery at those targets as well. So it should be very exciting. We really have the potential to make one or several more discoveries on our property. And you probably took copper and soil testing at those other targets, in addition to the historical drills. Yes, very much so. Uh, we have um, soil data already. We did more this year because we saw how helpful it was with our drill targeting. And that's one of the um, important tools we use for um, our drill targeting. It's a very well-written press release. Um, I often get, I, I get pained by poorly written press releases. Whatever team of people wrote this did an extremely good job, including the respectful nod to Canadian First Nations for Truth and Reconciliation Day. <laughs> Thank you. It, it, no, it is well done. So yeah. the team deserves that. So yeah. you're, you're going to carry out another 4,000 meters of drilling 
does the property have to shut down for the winter? It doesn't have to. What we generally do is we drill the fastest in the summer when we have the best conditions and get the best productivity. And then our spring and autumn, um, a little bit more, um, a little slower pace. So we've just gone down from two to one drill. And typically over the worst weather periods of December, January, February, we do all the other work. We do the cutting, the logging of the core, etc. cetera, um, right. but don't drill. So our VP operations calls it making hay while the sun shines, i.e. we drill so we get the most bang for our buck. Now, that makes sense to me. Look, I, I appreciate the update. It's a well-written press release. Thank you for your time. And I'll be watching for the results from the next 4,000 meters. Thank you.